AK-47 here, Josh Smith, trades, let's get to it. Want to do this a month ago, I've had it for a month now. The 392 Final Edition here. You can go read all the stuff, I'm not going to say, hey, the normal review, 470 horsepower, I'm not going to get over that. I'll go over that stuff. I'm going to go over, I've had it for a month now, let me tell you what I like. We're here today at Frank, Fletcher, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram. Come get your, come get your damn vehicles here, people. We've got Caleb behind here, known him for freaking 20 plus years, love the boy. Love the badging. I didn't know if I would like the badging or not, but I do like it. It looks beautiful, honestly. Uh, for, uh, uh, close up or far away. And the wheels. I like the kind of bronze color to them as well. Very pretty. So they, I, I didn't know if I'd like them at first. And this is different on the from the, tw uh, the 392. I had a 2022 392. And I do like this little sidestep. Not that you're going to probably use it much maybe to get up, but it is usable. Love this pearl, uh, color Earl in, in, in person. Never seen one in person. I'm here in Arkansas. I don't really get to see many of this color. Haven't seen one in person. Freaking love it. Let's get to the inside. A couple of things that I really want to get to. So one thing I did not like and I could not stand on the 2023 or whatever when they the red interior. I am so glad we're back to this black and this bronzy color. It's actually a little bit more mustardy than the last color. If you get in there tight, Caleb, you can kind of see that mustardy right. It's pretty though. I freaking love it. The paddles, though, they respond. I've got a BMW X3M X Drive. These paddles on the 2022, it, it was like a two second delay. I, I trade stocks. I felt like I was in a trade, Caleb, and I went to go buy, and I'm like, feel me already, asshole. Feel, come on, oh, now I'm in. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. So when I actually press them now, oh my God, I just did it on the way here. They're so responsive. You can't talk enough about this screen. It's very responsive as well. I'll turn it on so you can see it here. But I love this screen. It's very responsive is what I'll try to get into here as you can see here. Absolutely, the system's great as well. I don't have it on play, unfortunately. But very responsive, love it. You can put the extra side screen. This I love as well. Textured, the stitching right there. Oh, Caleb, yeah, zoom in a little bit right there for the people. Beautiful, it's soft touch as well. This is nice. One last thing I love, this is cl this close is better. So Caleb, you can kind of get back in here. The one touch sky top, um, the, the one I had, I kind of complained. I was like, what's going on? And there'd be like little small, little like, you could tell it didn't close down all the way. Now did water ever get in? No, but this closes so tightly now. So that's another thing that I love about this. It's different than the last one. And the last but not least thing that I love that I've kind of mentioned throughout is the leather. And I'll get my fat ass out of the way and you can show them the seats here, Caleb. I haven't taken it off yet, but that is, it's Napa leather. It is softer. It is more comfortable than the last leather that they did. This Napa leather is money. It's legit. I love it. It's so soft. I immediately noticed it when I picked it up uh, from you guys, Caleb. I was like, man, this is different and zippy. And like, really? And I'm like, no, 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 I think it, and I didn't realize it was Napa. And that's when I read it. And I was like, oh, it's Napa. And so love the power seats too. Not power uh, steering, which is fine. You have to kind of adjust that right there, but it's fine. But the power seats are really nice to have for once. Um, so those are the main things. I've had it for a month and absolutely adore it, love it. Uh, some of these extra things that are different from my last one, especially like in the paddles being more responsive. This right here, this kind of texture look to it, that gives it that more aggressive, uh, sportier 392 feel to it, in my opinion. The Napa leather seats, they smell, of course, smell amazing, but they're so soft. Um, so yeah, it's definitely an upgrade from the you know from last uh, last edition for sure. Um, and yeah, I just kind of want to let everybody know um, after a month in what I thought of it and kind of give you guys a review. Uh, same response as the last one, just as fast. Um, but those little small things I love the most, and I just want to let you guys know after kind of a month of having it, uh, those are some of the favorite things that I love for sure. So hey, there we go from Frank Fletcher Dodge Cars with Jeep Ram. Until next time, AK47 signing off. Now, one other thing I did forget to mention was the triple loop front bumper. I do like it a lot. That's actually only going to be on the 2024, not going to be on the 2025. Yes, I know they're extending it, so don't give me hell in the comments. Um, but yes, this is going to be only on the 2024s, not the 2025s. But really, really do. And I like the front grills too. Uh, a lot of you know people, a lot of Jeepers, which I have. Of course, you can even see my purple guy back there. Uh, I got a lot of Jeeps and had a lot of Wranglers, and I love this grill still. It's not, I'm not like I'm... Uh, you know, some people just don't like it. I love it. And I actually do, uh, of course, love that triple loop as well. Uh, so another thing that I forgot to mention on the review that I really do like a lot, and especially in person, really absolutely love both of those.